Shalom and welcome to another uh, episode of Living Supernaturally. We are glad that uh, you have joined us today to learn of God's Word. In this new series that we are looking at this week, um, we are focusing on the truth of God's Word for all of us and especially for the youth. And I have Jeremy here with me to share his thoughts and concerns about his season of life and alongside both of us will be looking at God's word to understand and to learn from so. Jeremy? I keep wondering if I can make an impact or an influence on other people because of my young age or if it is even possible for me to be one. And I see that um, many people don't take me seriously if I do contribute in some way. And I also wonder how I could make a contribution like this. Mm. So in the Bible, Jeremy, in fact, there is a person who felt the, probably the same way that you did, and that's Timothy. And we see Paul giving Timothy an instruction in, in, the, in 1 Timothy, asking and telling him not to really look down upon himself. And let me read that verse for you. In 1 Timothy 4.12, it says, let no one despise your youth, but be an example to the believers in word, in conduct, in love, in spirit, in faith, and in purity. So notice here that Paul is telling Timothy not to think less of himself, all because he is young. And, uh, and this doesn't mean that, that uh, he, would, he would not be able to not have anything to say or to contribute. And you can see, um, you know, Paul is suggesting, encouraging Timothy to know that he is being there in that position of authority because God has placed him there. So here in this verse, the Bible is actually showing you how you can be an example as a young person. And let's look at that together. It says in word. So some translations say speech, meaning in um, the way that you use your words, in the way that you, 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 sp you speak, in, in the way that you, you bring about things, whether there is boasting, is there lying. So looking at being an example in the way that you, you talk to, to others. It talks about in conduct. It says in your behavior, meaning your behavior, that in the way that you behave, the way that you are with your friends in school or in college, the way that you represent God. Another way of being an example is being uh, in love. Where are you setting your affections? Where are you setting your priority? Is it to the Lord? The other place that it talks about that you be an example is in the spirit. That is where you follow the spirits leading and guiding you being filled with the power of the Holy Spirit in the things that you do. In faith, that is, in your trust, in your belief in God, in salvation, that everything that you do comes as a result of your faith. And lastly, in purity, which means to be able to live a life of holiness, to live a life of moral cleanliness in in, in the choices that you make, in the decisions that you make. So, in short, our life needs to match what we say or how we live or what we do. And that's how we become an example. So, as a young person, when you look back at God's Word, you will find that there are ways that you can change your life to be an example, to set and be a representative of what God wants you to be. Shall we pray together? Heavenly Father, we thank you that your word gives us different aspects of how we need to be an example. Lord, we commit, Lord, the ways of young people into the throne of your grace. And we pray that in all of these aspects, in their lives, in their word, in their behavior, in their purity, in the, in the spirit, in their faith, that they will set an example that will glorify your name. We thank you for your guidance. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.